have the um what is that the ben q 70 50 i yeah uh, ultra short throw and i also got um you know a motorized projector screen from elite screens right, right. the clr screen and so you, you press one button the avr turns on the projector turns on the screen comes down like you just feel like a boss like you just, yeah, you for just press this button like all this stuff happening around me i can yeah. imagine speakers coming down too like, yeah that's oh. ridiculous so- Dude, so even, even better yet, st- th- those ones come down from the ceiling. Your towers come up from the floor. Like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. Well, well, that's the yeah. way to do it, right? That's baller, the thing. <laughs> Why not just that's do crazy. all the speakers, right? Yeah. You don't have yeah. to see any of them. That's a little boss. Yeah, it reminded me of when I went to um, Atlanta Home Theater and did that big tour of that mansion, man. They had all kinds of home automation stuff in there. Just, you know, one button and you know, TV comes on or shuts off and then the screen drops down and the projector drops down from the ceiling. It's like, dang, that's like baller level right there. Oh, have you guys, there, there was a question earlier. Have you guys uh, done like a dual monitor setup, like from your AVR, AVR to the TV, AVR to the projector? Does it work? Did you, does it what do you like mean a dual monitor? Like you have one AV receiver going to your TV, which you're using, watching all the time. And then when yep. you want to actually use a projector, you have monitor two. Uh, output from your AVR going to projector, you know, and the it screen works. comes down. It works. Yeah, yeah both of works. them should. Yeah, have two. You got, yeah, you got two HDMI outs, so they can run simultaneously. Yeah, I, I've tried it, but I mean, mm-hmm. I know, like, with the one that I was messing around with, the Anthem, it it choose it picks one at random to give HDR. Is that something you've seen as well? Not that I don't know. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one, Chana. Yeah. How's the UST, dude? It's crazy. He's liking it. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. I had to call up somebody who knows much more about projectors. I had to ask him, like, "Am I crazy for thinking that's this is awesome?" He's like, "Nope." He's like, is this legit? He's like, "You're okay." Yeah. <laughs> and I, I was, I was telling Joe, I said, I think because I've reviewed several of them, um, I think they're they're just rapidly improving that technology. Um, and I think the thing is, is that more consumers are looking at. Man, I could actually have a bigger screen in my t- in my living room now because of ultra ultra short throws because of um, ALR. I'm gonna throw this in the in the co- or throw it to you guys in the comments. Mm. Have you heard of so there's ALR screens, but now they're coming out with a CLR screen. And so yeah, you you mentioned CL- yeah, you mentioned that CLR. Yeah, we're, last we're week. like. I was like, what the heck is that, man? That's the first time I'd heard of that. Because mm-hmm. when they were going to send it to me, they said, hey, do you have a CLR screen? And I went, I said, I have an ALR screen. And they said, oh, that'll be fine. And I went, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I didn't think anything of it. And then Joe mentioned he's got a CLR screen. So no. um, it's kind of interesting. But I, it but it almost sounds like the ALR of old is the new CLR of now. Yeah, I'm kind of curious if Kyle's thing. still in here. If Kyle's still in here, yeah, what he what he's seen because he's done a few screen reviews on a Life of Bliss channel, and you know I think it's it's just that the what we used to call ALR screens, right? And so that's well, I the guess ones where they, they just have made a new one. Yeah. yeah, they made a new designation for the ones that are made for ultra short throw. Gotcha. Basically, and the idea behind that is if you think about it, the ultra short throws are placed very close to the screen. So the angle that it's shooting up at the screen is pretty steep. It's like a 45 degree angle, maybe even taller. And, you know, just when you think of physics, you know, the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. That reflection is going to hit your ceiling. And so part of that ALR screen or the CLR screen, it's got like these little ridges. And so when the light hits the ridge, it bounces straight back to your eyes instead of up at the ceiling. But then the other benefit of that is it also rejects light that's coming down, like from your ceiling fan or your can lights above, as well as like your windows and all the ambient light. So it rejects that, but then it reflects that, um, the light that's really, really steep angled from the, the, um, ultra short throw. So, um, yeah. I'm excited. I know, I know you have one, Michael. I'm kind of curious to see what you think. think. I'm going over to Derek's tomorrow. We're going to hook it up and, and check it out because, like I said, he's got he's got one in his home. He's got a nice screen and everything. So, I think it's a di- a little different when you had the experience of you know the uh, JVC. You know you you've experienced the best ones 
Yeah. And so from there, it's kind of like how how close is this getting? Yeah. You know, I think black levels are probably going to be the thing you're going to sacrifice. Sure. But other than that, yeah. I think it's just with the CLR screen, it's so bright, so vibrant that even Chano, I don't think would mind if he saw it. He'd be like, all right. Maybe. You know, the issue I had with the Vava one is not too sharp. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Was- it was, not it was somewhat soft, you know. I mean, it it had a good image. I think it was a good value, and that when I reviewed it compared to the LG, what was it, HU eighty five, like six thousand dollar one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a big difference in cost, man. So it's hard for me to go, man, six grand versus yeah. I don't. The Volvo was what three, and yeah, it's I'm dropped in that. price since. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking, man, that's it's like. You're not getting double the performance, but it is definitely a noticeable difference yeah. between the two. All right. But you let me know you what got, you think. Not, you now you got this one coming out at four grand. It's like, okay, all right. So that's yeah, it's not cheap. Six. It's yeah. not cheap, but oh man, watching the Olympics and all that stuff, I was like, wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I was impressed. Yeah. So I'm wondering why did they only go to because most of the time they're rated for like 100 to 120 inch screens. So why couldn't they go? to 130 or 140 i think they're bright enough because my projector is probably only 1800 lumens and i think this one's a lot more than that like 2500 yeah. lumens yeah it's 2500 yeah so i don't know yeah i think it says on their thing i've seen it say 120 mm. yeah something most around there say 100 to 120 that's yeah. pretty much standard for ultra short throws but but i just yeah. think it it's allowing people that can't do you know, they don't have a dedicated theater room. You know, they have a living room and they've got a nice TV, but they're like, man, I feel like I'm missing out on that big screen cinema experience. Yeah. And now yeah. I think that because of ultra short throws, it's opening up that option for people. I think so, hundred inch is like, is like the optimal size for ultra short throw. Cause once you start getting larger than that, then you start having to move the projector out into the room and next thing you know, it's going to be like right there next to the, you know, you, you audio file guys with the speakers like real far from the walls. The projector is <laughs> going to be far from the wall, nah. too. But you're that, only that talking that becomes a, another issue. You're literally only talking a, a few inches, you know, 8.7 inch on this one uh, in order to throw 100 inch. Uh, OK. Yeah. So that's I'll not what, ridiculous. What's, yeah. What's the 120? So you uh, go from eight to like 10 inches. Mm. I'm Maybe. not sure. I'm not sure. You know, and so that's what I'm saying. It's not like drastic. It's not like you're going to have to pull it out another foot or two foot. But the thing the is, the thing is, most uh, furniture is not that wide. You know, like, like that's, that's now you're going to have a big old gap between. Yeah. Your that's that's a big unit. situation. Yeah. Yeah. So you're just saying. Yeah, and you need to have like some good speakers left and right and then forego it's, a center channel. There's a lot of like things you there, have to. There definitely is. It's it's not ideal for everybody. And there's some huge challenges with that. It's a lot think, harder to set up. Well, I think Salamander has a has a thing where you drop it into the top. So the very top, mm-hmm. like the little projector thing Spot pops out. out. Yeah. And okay. then there's a spot for a center channel underneath it. Yeah. Right, and then, then you have your speakers on really low. So, like I said, it just yeah, yeah. There's, <laughs> there's not a there's not a good way around it. Now, if your center channel is big enough, you can always put it um, the center channel underneath the ultra short throw. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, like gotta, yeah. If you had like a RS sixty four C or yeah, something like that, yeah, yeah. That, that thing's huge. Something like that, you know. If you got, you know, I've seen some big Bowers and Wilkins, and you know, Martin Logan. So it just depends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exciting though, exciting stuff. Yeah. All this new yeah. tech. I'm excited I'll for find the out, folks I'll out find there. Out who tomorrow, how them. this thing looks, and I've got some 4K stuff on my Nvidia Shield that I'll be able to stream and not have YouTube <laughs> say. I can't do a, 3D. Chris I'm take down your, it, see, it actually I, can. <laughs> I never understood the whole 3D thing, man. And part of it, it is actually, my glasses. You know, it's weird. Oh, having, you having have glasses, glasses and, putting, and then having glasses. Yeah, over glasses. Yeah, that one.